Hey, John here. Pardon all the noise today. I got two hours left on a 3D printer job and the humidifier has been running crazy. So I just created a new project. Let's talk about this guy right over here, the page layout editor. You've seen me uh, create a couple of projects and I put you know, my little license blurb and put an OSHW logo in the title block. And I keep doing that on each project. Well, if you're going to do that a lot or you got a business or something, you can actually edit the title block by clicking this button over here at the top level here. It doesn't matter what project you're editing. Uh, this is the page layout editor. So if you look at what's going on in here, this is a lot, you know, similar to the schematic editor. It's a little different, though. You've got these are the items that are on the page layout. I don't want to use the word template because a template means something different in KiCad. So let's call this a layout. That's what they call it. If you look through here, you see these various text fields and lines and, you know, things like that. And you see the origins, the locations of where these things are. And you also see some stuff you're not used to seeing in the schematic editor or the board editor. The origin, the upper left or the lower left and things like that. So you can pick which corner you're speaking relative terms about okay now the reason they do that is so you can create one page layout for different sized pages and it can scale now I don't want to get into all the details of that all I'm really interested is in down here is the the title block right now that's all I really care about the rest of the stuff in the corner relative relative corner stuff if you wanted to put the title block in a different corner or you wanted to change the way these borders worked then you'd play around with that because, you know, the, the A up here, for example, or the one over here is relative to this upper left corner and so on. That way, if it gets longer and longer and longer, it stays relative to the corner it's relevant on, okay? So the title block, as we look at the parts down here, we're going to see that they are going to be relative to the lower right corner. So this is the word title that I just clicked on with the left button to select it. And you'll notice up here it says title percent T. If you click on these other guys like revision, revision percent R, and this will probably be sheet uh, percent P and so on. These percent letter thingies refer to when you're in the schematic editor, the stuff that goes in these page settings, revision, title, the uh, comments and so on, right? Okay. So I'm not going to mess with any of that. You can extrapolate and play around with this all you want. You want to move around where it says sheet whatever or put more in here and play with the percent sign markers. That's that's your business. I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to just put in my usual uh, CERN license here and the open uh, source hardware logo over here. And I'm going to create that as my own title block. Uh, if you're doing a professional job, you probably put your company logo in here. You might put some boxes to the left, drawn by, checked by, the usual stuff, okay? So you can go run with whatever I'm showing you here right now, um, which is I'm going to add a text field and put my license stuff in there. And I'm going to make it relative to the lower right corner because I want it to stay in the box. And all these lines and stuff that the box is made of, let's see if I scroll around and pick these things. Here's a line again. It's lower right, lower right, because all these dimensions are relative to the lower right corner, okay? All right, so if you right-click on the page, I can add another line, a rectangle text, bitmap. So I'm going to add some text and bitmap. If you want to add lines, sure, you can draw more lines. Let's add some text. Lower right origin. Uh, I'm going to drag it around on the screen. I don't actually have to type these numbers in. If you know exactly where you want it to go, you can do that if you want. I'm going to just type in some text down here. Now I've got a window open somewhere on here in the right directory. Let's see here. With my usual license text in here, so I can just copy and paste it. Nice and easy into this box. There we go. I'll make it big enough so I can see what the heck I'm doing. All right, the usual blah, 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 blah. If you want to make them, go ahead. Just let me know because I'd like to know about it. And once a year, I'll have to change the number in there, which is better than every single project, right? So now I got some text that I'm dragging it around, not unlike what happens in the schematic editor with symbols and things. Uh, I'm going to drag it over here, and you'll notice the fonts are all wrong and too big, but that's fine. We can now edit them. That's what our options are over here. 
So set to zero for the default. So these are currently the defaults. I have no idea what the defaults are. So let's change the width and height to just be one millimeter and see what happens. So you hit accept and you see it shrunk down. Actually, one looks really nice for the height. One's not bad for the width, but I want to put a logo on there. So let's find out how big the logo is. Let's add a bitmap file in the library. I've got some of these open source logos. This one that's 150 pixels high looks like a pretty good one. And now I'm dragging that thing around in the obvious way. Let's put it about right there. Now this is a white background, so if I move it over too far, you see it interrupting, uh, disrupting the, the right side of the page. Right, whoa, zooming in a weird way here. There we go, and now I'm covering up some of the text in here. So let's change it to uh, the text over here. All right, if I click on the text, I might be able to reselect it. There we go. I clicked around where I thought this button was, and it came back alive. So the width, let's make it 0.9 until it looks about right, and hit accept. Oh, that's really a big difference, isn't it? 9.5, how about that? Not bad. Now, all the new stuff that you put down and lines and text are green when you're putting them in here. And then when you save them, they'll be red like the other stuff is. All right. So uh, that's a feature. So that's basically what I want to do. That looks pretty good. So now go. Uh, uh, I usually just do file save as because if I hit this thing, I don't really know where it's saving. It might overwrite the system one. It actually says no file selected right now. You can't really overwrite the system one. As a regular user, I shouldn't have write permission to do that, but I'm always paranoid because I write software for a living, and I know how screwed up it can get. So I'm going to do a save as and navigate to a nice place for it to go. I'm going to put it in where my other library, you saw me clone the DigiKey Keycad library. You saw me create my own library. I'm now going to create another directory in that lib directory for layouts which I'll use for all my layouts. And this, I'll just call this one the John's Basement, JB. It'll automatically append the proper suffix for a page layout. And it will now be saved, and it'll tell you all about that on the line above here. So all I really did is added two fields. Yes, I know this text is in the same place as the comment lines would go and, the, and, and so on. That's okay. You know, you don't like it here, put it somewhere else. I'm going to just leave it and understand that I've done something potentially foolish. So now you're coming along, you're gonna edit a project. I just created this project brand new, just now for this. And what I wanna do is go up in here, maybe today's date, revision one, title, you know, tester thingy. And I should be able to pick any old size I want. Let's choose an A2, a nice big sheet. Now down here, I want to pick my page layout description file. And that means I need to go down and find my new thing that I just made. John's basement thingy my bob around there. All right. So now it just got much bigger. And there's my new title block. I mean, that's all there really is to it. Everything else is, well, <laughs> draw more lines, put text here, put text there. And you can see the uh, stuff went where it was supposed to go. And like I said, if uh, because this and these com uh, company uh, stuff is in the same place, and here's uh, comment one, comment two, comment three, Ooh, come on, comment three and comment four, come on. I got a double tab because it goes to these checkboxes. You can see that those comments in the company line are, in fact, overriding what I put in there. So, modulo the fact that I knew I, I meant to do that, right? Um, you know, you may want, if you're going to do this, you might want to put your stuff somewhere else, or you could actually delete and or move the comment uh, lines around somewhere else on the page if you want, or just don't fill them in, which is the case for me. I just won't fill them in. So this is all I've ever done with the page layout editor. Uh, maybe there's some cooler stuff that I'm not aware of. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.